Hi, my dear people. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, this is Saffron Media, and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, authentic, sizzling, hot just in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. So ensure you stay tuned, relax, and get the latest of what is happening in Nigeria. Yes, guys, uh, right here, it seems that uh, Renault Mercury is blowing hot, especially now that he's calling out Bola Tinubu, what has happened in conniving with uh, Hush Puppy. Why? How has uh, Tinubu uh, got anything to do with Hush Puppy? Well, we'll find out in this very report. But well, please ensure you stay till the end. Ensure you like this video, share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to ensure you get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, remember that Hush Puppy has been related with fraud cases and has been in the U.S. prison for some time now. I remember that uh, uh, senior uh, commissioner of police, assistant commissioner of police, has been uh, associated with that very fraud. And, you know, the U.S. have called for the extradition of uh, Abba Kiari. And now... How has Stenable got or what has Stenable got to do with this? Well, we'll find out right here. Yes, guys, so stay tuned. Yeah, without further ado, let us see what Reno or Mercury is saying. Why has he called that Stenable in this matter? Yes, right here, says the former presidential aide, Reno Mercury, has said there is no difference between President Muhammad Buhari and the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, and internet fraudster Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Hush Puppy. In a post on his verified Twitter handle on Sunday, Omokri said that while Hush Puppy was defrauding people and using their monies to bribe a deputy commissioner of police, the source of the billions of Naira allegedly spent by Tinubu for Buhari's election in 2015 and 2019 remains unknown. Omokri, in a post on Twitter using his verified handle, wrote, What is the difference between Abba Kiari and Buhari? Hush Puppy stole money and used it to bribe Kiari. Where did Bola Tinubu get the money he used to install Buhari? Until we deal with the crooks at the top, we will continue to be the laughing stock of the world. It would be recalled that the United States Department of Justice disclosed that Hush Puppy, who is currently facing trial in the U.S. for internet fraud and pleaded guilty, to the charges leveled against him, allegedly bribed Kiari to arrest and jail his associates in Nigeria, Chibuzo Vincent. However, Kiari, in a statement on his Facebook page, denied the allegation leveled against him, saying he only received the sum of 300,000 naira from Hosh Poppy, which is not a bribe, but money meant for his designer to make clothes for the fraudster. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, on Sunday recommended Kiari's suspension to allow a thorough investigation into the matter and the police service commission followed suit by suspending him, which is no longer news. Hmm. You know, Renu Amokri is just one very funny guy that, you know, he is... It just keeps calling out, you know, those people into fraud. And he has made it very clear to Nigerian youth that, you know, there are a million and one ways to make valid, you know, uh, money, you know, without getting your hands dirty or without becoming fraudulent, that there's a lot of ways you can make money. It's just, you know, having the right people around you and talking to the right people to connect you with what you need to do. That is the most important thing. But, you know, at the point where where a, 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 an administration calling out young people, arresting them on a daily basis for related fraud issues. And the government itself is also, you know, is immersed in fraud. You know, they keep defrauding Nigerians on a daily basis, embezzling millions and billions of dollars in Nigeria. So you can imagine why they are even capable of, you know, arresting young guys into fraud. They, they should not be able to 
touch these guys because they are nothing different from these guys. That is why Reno Mokri is saying that Tinubu is no different from, you know, Hush Puppy that is arrested in the U.S. And Hush Puppy is also using the money he, he, he uses to defraud people and also give some to our respected and most decorated police officer in Nigeria. So tell me if the most decorated and respected police commissioner is in such fraudulent case, you can imagine what those under him would be doing. Yes, that is how corrupt Nigeria is today. Our government is corrupt. The people in the civil service are corrupt. Those occupying public offices are corrupt. So everything is written corruption in Nigeria. And I wonder how this is going to end. Because if you are looking at from the top, those at the bottom have already learned from those at the top. So it's going to be a serious work when they have to clean up the system, you know. And one thing is sure, corruption is not easy to clean up, but if you can really start doing it, others at the bottom will quickly make corrections because they've not gotten to the level where they will have to, you know, uh, embezzle huge sums. And at the end of the day, they know it will be very easy for them to be caught and, you know, they can be sent out of the system. So they would just be wise about what you know what they should do about uh, fraud activity or fraud related cases in their offices so it is really important that uh, nigeria worked on this issue of you know uh embezzling of funds corruption and the likes it is eating deep into the society and that is what has got us here that is why you hear kidnap cases on a daily basis requesting for ransom some people in higher offices are involved in all of this and it is corruption that's eating up in the country that is why people have now found you know uh, uh desires in making other people cry and defrauding people in broad daylight our government have not seen it as a terrible offense that is why they've not really taken you know the, the taking it really serious they just believe, okay, this is all about insecurity. It is much more than insecurity. This had to do with corruption and insecurity. So we have a lot to deal with as a country. So really, all of this should really be taken care of as quickly as we can so that Nigeria can be a better place for everyone. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Reno Mokri has, you know, busted um, Tinobu, you know, he keeps bringing bullion van to his house and you see people come in there to take huge sums of money and he's asking, where did he get that money from? What kind of work does Tinobu do aside the companies he claimed he has? Where did he get the money from? Well, I don't know about that. Well, so guys just drop a comment let us hear what you have to say about this and also give this video a thumbs up to have a pleasant time bye for now